Hi guys! So I'm in a recording mode today. Uh, it's actually only my second video, but uh, I just wanted to get it done um, and while well, I have some time before the baby comes and all that. But I wanted to also do um, a review on a new palette that I just recently picked up that you've probably seen in my haul. And it is the Too Faced uh, Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the box that it comes in. And this is the packaging right here. And it's really, it just fits your hand. It's really convenient. It's not too big. Um, I find the Naked Palette a little bit, the Urban Decay Naked Palette a little bit too long. Um, so I just keep it kind of like, you know, it's like my baby. But I reach for this a little bit more often. Um, and it has a little ribbon and you pull it out. Just the regular um, Too Faced packaging. And I really like that. Um, the cardboard is really, really sturdy. I know I picked up the Rue 21 uh, palette and it was also cardboard, but you can tell that it's like crappy cardboard because, you know, like this right here wasn't even sticking and this is really magnetic and it just closes. Whereas the Rue one, I was having trouble of it closing. Anyhow, so um, <laughs> moving on, um, these are the colors right here. You can see there's nine colors. There's three big ones and six smaller colors. And it comes with the cards. Um, I've never even looked at these cards, but I think these will probably be good for beginners. And I think one side is in English and then the other side is in French or whatever language that is. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, but it has a look for a classic and then a um, a fashion look and a day look and that all coordinates going this way um, so it has a day look and you just use all these three colors and it has the name um, of the colors on there and um, and then it just tells you like apply Velveteen Bunny, like, you know, where to apply it and all that. So this is perfect for beginners. Um, I haven't tried any of these yet, but maybe I will someday just to see how it turns out. It looks pretty, it looks pretty intense, you know, eye for me. I don't know, I just, I just can't look at this and put it on my eyes like that and do that. So, anyhow. Um, so the first color is uh, Tough, Tough Suede. And it's this kind of like skin, darker nude skin color right here. Peach. And these are really pigmented for being matte and it's very, very soft for being matte. That's the color right there. And then going on to across, the next one is called Chinchilla. And it's a darker coffee brown color. And that's the swatch for it right there. And then the last one is the coffee bean on that row. It's just a dark coffee color. Um, and these are all really matte. The only problem I have with these, um, which if you are okay with it, I think it would be fine, is that when you swatch it with your hands or if you use your fingers on it, it's all right, it's fine. But when you put a brush in, it tends to have a lot of fallouts. Like, you know, you'll think that you your products are wasted or something like that. Like this right here, I used it this morning and it still has some fallouts on there. But other than that, I think it's fine. Um, the next one is a Velveteen Bunny and it's just a white matte color. That's the swatch for it right there. I'm going to be running out of fingers here pretty soon. And the next one is called Pebbles and it's just a green, lighter green matte color. I keep on saying matte. These are all matte. I don't need to say matte. It's just a lighter green color. And these are very, very creamy for being matte. Uh, the next one is London Fog. And I want to say it's just a black. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just a black, matte black. Like that. I haven't used that color yet. So I'm going to switch hands here. Um, and so sorry for my dirty fingers because I didn't bring a napkin, like always. And the bottom row, um, that row is called Classic, and the bottom row is called Fashion, and it has more of a pop of a color to it. This one is called Fresh Linen, and it's really light pink, 
on the finger it just looks kind of almost white but in the pan there's you can see the difference between the pink and the white one and the next one is vintage violet it says violet but when you pick it up it kind of looks almost like a dark taupe brown grayish color so that's what it looks like and then finally the last one is called midnight and it is also a dark like really really dark grayish it's not black yet but it has kind of like a bluish undertone to it um, yeah so those are the colors I have them on today um, I, I used this palette today I didn't put any um, I didn't use any other colors from the other palettes so for me when I think of using just one palette like when I first put on my makeup you know just putting just one like matte color like all matte colors on my eyes and it was kind of annoying because I I sometimes I like that like shimmer you know like all over lid color and then I blend it out with a matte color on the crease that's what I usually do so it was kind of annoying that I didn't have any you know kind of shimmer or for my inner corners or you know for my brow bone but I, I still think it works fine um, I still managed to put on this my makeup today with just using this palette um, what I used today was I want to say the white color which is the velveteen bunny all over my eyes and then um, I put some vintage violet on on the crease and then I darken that up with the coffee bean over here um, I'm still kind of been staying away from the darker London fog and midnight color um, they're still a little bit too dark for me for during the daytime and so that's I love this coffee color because I can just use a little bit of that and then I blend it out with the um, chinchilla color just kind of blend it out so this vintage violet kind of went away <laughs> and then I use the fresh linen um, mixed with the velveteen bunny for under my brow so, um, yeah, overall, I would say I'm in love with this palette. Um, I like this palette more than the natural palette. The reason that I got the natural palette was because of the three um, matte colors that they had up here. And then the rest of them were shimmers. And I find that that's too much shimmer for my liking right now. Maybe in the winter I might be able to use that. Um, but for right now, for in the summer, especially when your eyes are... Uh, more oily and well my eyes anyways are more oily um, I tend to reach for this a little bit more um, and I have tried doing a look mixing this and my Urban Decay Naked palette and that worked out pretty well too um, but like I said I've been into the matte eyes and I'm really glad that they came out with just a palette with just matte eyeshadows because my MAC eyeshadows um, I do have some matte colors, but I just kind of get annoyed of them. I like it that they're all just right here and, you know, for me to reach and where I don't have to look into different palettes to look for a matte eyeshadow. So, uh, this is $36 and I totally think it's worth the money. Especially if you're a beginner and you don't want your eyes to look all shimmery and like look like you have too much makeup on. Um, this will not make you look like you have too much makeup on at all. So, uh, totally recommend it. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.